How to check that the beam to column connection shown with double angle web is suitable to resist the shear force of 400 kilonewtons. We will assume that the bolts are M20 grade 8.8, .8, and the steel grade is S275. First of all, we need to check the bolt's spacing and edge end distances. The following conditions need to be met. For grade S275 steel with plate thickness equals 10 mm, the design strength would be 275 newton per square millimeters, epsilon equals 1. Hence, all bolt spacing and edge end distances to bolts are satisfactory. Next, Checking strength of the bolts connecting cleats to supporting column. For M20 grade 8.8 .8 bolts, the tensile stress area equals 245 square millimeters, and the shear strength 375 newton per square millimeters. The shear capacity of single bolt equals tensile stress area, multiplied by shear strength. We need to watch our units here square millimeters, multiplied by newton per square millimeters. So, divided by 1000 to get our value in kilonewtons. This gives us a value of 91.9 kilonewtons. Therefore, the shear capacity of bolt group is 6 times 91.9. This results in a value of 551.4 kilonewtons which is greater than 400 kilonewtons. Hence, bolts are adequate in shear. Following up, checking the bearing capacity of the connection. Bearing capacity of bolt is given by bolt diameter 20 millimeters, multiplied by the thickness of the cleat connected part, which is 10 millimeters, multiplied by bearing strength of the bolts, which is equal to 1000 newton per square millimeters for grade 8.8. Therefore, the bearing capacity of bolt equals 200 times 10 to the power of 3 newton. Divide by 1000, this gives us a value of 200 kilonewtons. Note that the thickness of angle cleat is thinner than column flange 23.8 millimeters and will therefore be critical. Bearing capacity of angle cleat is given by bolt diameter 20 millimeters multiplied by thickness of angle cleat 10 mm, multiplied by bearing strength of cleat, which equals 460 newton per square millimeters for steel grade S275. This gives us value of 92, times 10 to the power of 3 newton, divide by 1000, we get 92 kilonewtons, which it should be equal or less than 0.5, times end distance 60 mm, times cleat thickness 10 mm, times bearing strength of cleat 460 newton per square millimeters, which is 138 kilonewtons. Hence, the bearing capacity of connection equals 6 multiplied by 92 kilonewtons. This results in a value of 552 kilonewtons, which is greater than 400 kilonewtons. Therefore, bolts are adequate in bearing. Next, checking strength of bolt group connecting cleats to web of the supported beam. First is a shear check. As previously mentioned, for M20 grade 8.8 .8 bolts, the tensile stress area equals 245 square millimeters, and the shear strength 375 newton per square millimeters. Since bolts are in double shear, the shear capacity of each bolt is 91.9 kN multiplied by 2, which equals 183.8 kN. Loads applied to the bolt group is vertical shear of 400 kN, and moment equals 400 kN multiplied by 50 mm, divided by 1000, which equals 20 kN meter. Note that outermost bolt subject to greatest shear force, which is equal to the resultant of the load due to the moment equals 20 kNm, and vertical shear force of 400 kN. So first, load on the outermost bolt due to moment is given by the following equation. 
which equals moment multiplied by the area of the bolt divided by the modulus of the bolt group. However, we first need to find the inertia of the bolt group, which is equal to the area of the bolt, times each bolt distance from the center squared, which equals area of bolt multiplied by, open bracket 30 squared, plus 90 squared, plus 150 squared, close bracket, multiplied by 2. This results in 63,000, times area of bolt. Our unit here is millimeters to the power of 4. Now, we should be able to work out the modulus of the bolt group, which is given by the inertia of the bolt group divided by 150 millimeters. This results in 420 times area of bolt, and the unit is millimeters to the power of 3. So, the load on the outermost bolt due to moment equals 20 kN, multiplied by 1000, multiplied by area of bolt, divided by 420, divided by area of bolt. We cross these two. Therefore, the load on the outermost bolt due to moment would be 47.6 kN. Next, the load on outermost bolt due to shear which is given by the shear 400 kN, divided by the number of bolts 6. This gives us a value of 66.7 kN. Consequently, resultant force of bolt would equal the square root of the load on outermost bolt due to shear 66.7 kN squared, plus the load on the outermost bolt due to moment 47.6 kN squared. This results in a value of 82 kN, which is less than 2, times the shear capacity of single bolt 91.9 kN. Therefore, the bolts are adequate in shear. Next, bearing check. As we previously mentioned that the bearing capacity of bolt equals 200 kN, which is greater than resultant shear force of bolt 82 kN. As the bearing capacity of each cleat equals 92 kN. So, the bearing capacity of both cleats is 92 kN multiplied by 2, which equals 184 kN, which is greater than resultant shear force of bolt 82 kN. Bearing capacity of the web equals bolt diameter times beam web 10.6 mm times bearing strength 460 newton per square millimeters, divided by 1000. This gives us a value of 97.52 kN, which is greater than resultant shear force of bolt 82 kN. Hence bolts, cleats and beam web are adequate in bearing. Next, checking the shear strength of cleats. Bear in mind, shear area equals 0.9, times the net cross-section area of the cleat, which is thickness of cleat 10 mm, times the length of cleat 400 mm. This gives us a value of 3,600 square millimeters. Shear capacity of a single angle cleat is 0.6, times design strength 275 newton per square millimeters, times shear area 3,600 square millimeters. This gives us a value of 594 kN. Since shear force 400 kN, divided by 2 is less than shear capacity of a single angle cleat 594 kN, the angle is adequate in shear. Last but not least, checking the bending strength of cleats. The moment equals the shear 400 kN divided by 2, multiplied by 50 mm, divided by 1000, giving us 10 kN meter. Assume moment capacity of one angle of cleat is design strength 275, multiplied by modulus of the cleat, which equals thickness of cleat 10, times length of cleat 400 squared, divided by 6. Therefore, the angle cleat is adequate in bending. Finally, Checking the local shear strength of the beam web at the end plate, which equals 0.6, multiplied by design strength 275 newton per square millimeters, 
multiplied by shear area which is the web thickness 10.6 mm, times the depth of the beam 602.2 mm. This results in a value of 1053.2 kN which is greater than 400 kN. Hence, supported beam at the end is adequate in shear. Thanks for watching. We hope you found some useful tips. Check out our website at structuralengineercalcs.com. Please like and subscribe, and let us know what would you like to see next. The human footprint is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Stay safe. Goodbye, and see you soon.